As the world battles the global pandemic known as the coronavirus, one would be naive to assume that extremists might be following suit by self-isolating, quarantining, having changed professions, or headed off into retirement. There is nothing that can alter the dark-hearted, one-track mindset of jihadists and their supporters that continue to threaten community cohesion and peaceful coexistence. Terrorist sympathizers have, over decades, successfully formed a transnational online community of like-minded individuals. Their motive is to incite hatred and violence against other religious denominations by festering an environment wherein those they hate are dehumanized in a manner that can justify or condone their oppression. Over the last few months, Bayat al-Ghadir has uncovered the hidden face of one particular extremist by the name of Human al-Abasi, aka Hassan Shimrani, a German national from Hamburg who resides in London, UK. Human Abbasi is an active blogger, influencer, and a celebrity of sorts amongst his circle, appearing on various social media platforms. Despite the plethora of evidence that we have unearthed showing his support of jihadi extremists, Human Abbasi, Hassan Shimrani, is currently playing the victim card. Amongst his risible defenses is his insistence that he has no editorial control over the websites he contributed to in the past. He alleges that their endorsement of extremism was why he distanced himself from these sites in the first place. This, of course, is a mere ruse. We shall know further evidence how terrorist sympathizers like Human are merely putting up a charade for the public. Sons of Sunnah is a website is not only endorsed by the likes of Shimrani and the STD, Sunni Defense Team, he has proudly acknowledged himself as its creator. On this very site, Shimrani identified six terrorist groups as Sunni militia groups, operating in and out of Iran. Let's take a look at who these groups are. Harakat Ansar Irani Hezbul Burqan Irani Ansar al Furqan Sepa Isahaba Irani The Iranian branch of Jundallah. Jaish al Adl. It should not come as a surprise that all these groups have been listed on the United States terrorism list. Despite this, Shimrani is in awe of them. He praises their killing of Iranian guards on the premise that they may harm Sunnis in the future. A preemptive strike to prevent something occurring in the future. So, if the Israelis carry out a preemptive strike on Palestinians, it is unacceptable. But when Shimrani's jihadist terrorist freedom fighters do that, it is justified. This is the reality of Shimrani and his likes. He is an extremist that supports and defends the activities of several banned and listed terrorist organizations an undeniable fact that he cannot divorce himself from, the very man that insists that he opposes and has no link with extremism, has contributed towards writing and dedicating articles in their support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more upcoming shows in this ongoing series.